coming to the uh, most important uh, element of this uh, day, and that is the christening of the Ken Booth Sr. and the Lakes Contender. Uh, it is the nature of progressive people to continually look forward into the future often unknown but always with confidence. Today requires us to look briefly into the past. For generations before sending new ships out to sea, societies always gave their ships names. This tradition is a thousand year tradition and we today have the responsibility to continue that ceremony and we welcome that opportunity and the opportunity to share it with you. In just a few minutes, our sponsors will formally give these vessels names, one after a person, Ken Booth Sr., and one after the spirit of a business named the Lakes Contender. Until today, they were known as Hull 1108, the tug, and Hull 1115, the barge. After today, the Ken Booth Sr. and the Lakes Contender will carry the character of their namesakes as they sail together as one unit as the newest vessels in the Great Lakes shipping community. Another historical aspect is attendant to today's events. The city of Erie and the state of Pennsylvania should be very proud it has been 40 years since the vessels like these before you today have been built in Erie. And if you were here in Erie during the peak of this winter, you would have seen a skyline of bows, sterns, and smokestacks, and 350 dedicated people progressing the repairs and the maintenance. Don John Shipbuilding and Repair has processed seven vessels through its graving dock this winter. And we're again doing here in Erie what this shipyard was designed to do, and that is to build and to repair ships. I sincerely thank you on behalf of Don John for all of your contributions which made this possible. Our customers, our suppliers, our employees, the Erie Port Authority, the government officials, the support of the community in the state of Pennsylvania, and Senator Jay Neural. And there's a special reason for that. From a rather contentious first meeting, when she obviously was questioning me in some detail, we have come to recognize Jay Neural as that rare politician that places her constituents and that's all of us, in her community above her personal interests. Erie is very lucky to have her. Building vessels is not an easy task. It is very capital intensive and not for the faint of heart. But when we came here to Erie in 19, 2009, not wondering what to expect, we found a, a renewed confidence uh, instilled by our employees, by the community, and by folks like the Port Authority. Afloat before you are two vessels that collectively weigh approximately 7,400 long tons. When the barge is loaded to her load line mark of 30 feet, she will carry approximately 30, 39,000 long tons of cargo. The tug is 135 foot long and has a power plant producing almost 11,000 horsepower. She has space and living provisions for 17 sailors with the comforts of a floating home away from home. The barge, 740 foot long, mated with the tug, creates a modern ATB. An ATB is an, articu an, ar an articulated tug and barge and she will, with her unique features, serve the Great Lakes well 
and that we're certain of. She has an ability to discharge her cargo at a rate in excess of 6,000 long tons per hour. What we have here is a combination of horsepower and utility in the barge that should, should unload and should progress with the most aggressive attitude. I guess you could say that the unit is truly a contender. We also want to take a moment to acknowledge the assistance to the United States Coast Guard and the American Bureau of Shipping. The United, Coast, the United States Coast Guard and the Classification Society have given us their collective input to assure that the vessels are state of the art with respect to safety as well as quality. Thank you both for working together with us. At this time, God bless this vessel. May everyone be safe and so on.